stop. Hey guys, welcome to Phantom Live. We're excited to be back after a brief intermission we took last week off, but it's TJ and Matt from Phantom Outdoors, and we wanted to remind you guys that not only are we here on Facebook, but we're also on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. We have a lot of really cool plans for all of our social media. We're just trying to get into that rhythm of making it all happen. Um, I'm still, uh, I still, I feel like I'm still getting acclimated a little bit to the flow of things. Um, but man, we, we're having a great time here. So thank you guys for joining us here on Phantom Live, where we talk bait and tackle, we talk fishing, we talk hunting, anything related to the outdoors. And sometimes we talk about cool stuff that's going on around the shop, which we'll get to in just a second. Matt, how's it going? It's going great. We've been busy moving everything around the shop. We got our new reel display put in. So we did. That, that's very awesome. If now you can see all the reels that we have. It's it's amazing. It even it even surprised us what we had here. Um, that's good. We're kind of moving everything around, getting the shop shifted, kind of ending ending the summer process, going into deer season, all it's hunting coming. seasons, whatever you like to hunt. We got a little bit of everything loaded up pretty good on on deer stands um got plenty of deer corn so we're doing good we're, we're ready for it we're excited as someone who like wants to get into hunting this year if anybody wants to put me on my first buck or at least help me figure it out um man it's really cool like the buck cuts that we have put together now y'all gotta if, if you're you know like me you're kind of new you're getting into it you don't really know what's going on we have these butt cuts by Millennium, mm -hmm. and it's basically like a little living room it that is. you can hunt out of. It is awesome. Any everything Millennium makes is it's a really nice product. Uh, definitely the chairs uh, from the boat seats. We even have the boat seats in here. Everything's comfortable and just very very quiet stand. Just a just a nice stand. It'd be a good hunting experience for sure. <laughs> so I go out there and I shoot B roll for the TikTok that you might have seen Phantom Outdoors at on TikTok. I'm shooting the B-roll. Matt's going to come in later, and we're going to shoot, like, the actual talking points. And I was like, man, this is nice. The floor's padded, so you could just, like, you know, crisscross applesauce, sit on the floor. Matt's talking. He's like, oh, yeah, the floor's padded so that when you fire off around, the shell doesn't hit the metal and clank around and scare off the other deer. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's exactly why it's padded. It makes sense. There you but, go. but it's, it's re it really is cool. We got one put together out back if you guys want to come check it out. Um, what else is new around the store? Man, we are, we just got another load of loophole scopes in. Um, just, just, like I say, just really getting ready for hunting. We got lots of ammo. I think we're down now to really only lack in uh, 270 Winchester short mag. I know that's one everybody's looking, looking for. Uh, we got it. Um, got a lot of buckshot, uh, three inch magnum, which it, it is copper plated. Um, we have two and three quarter triple all, which is Remington. Um, getting getting a bunch of stuff. Uh, got these new Bushnell Fusion X, um, but r they're actually range finding binoculars. If y'all can see them, they're pretty sweet. If you you've heard of the Leicas, uh, they're definitely awesome. Basically, it, it, if you're you're looking across the field, you can zoom in, um, hit the button. They're pretty quick. I've been been playing with a I sat out back and pretty awesome product. It, it blew my mind that, you know, uh, just how late I could see with those. Yeah. Know, but it, they definitely knocked that one out of the park and it come in about a third of the price of the Leica. So it's pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, pretty cool stuff. I want to play with them. I didn't know we were playing with yeah, those. Yeah, yeah. There's, oh, there's, a, there's a sample set in there that we can, uh, awesome. you can try them. They're, they're, they're definitely pretty awesome. <clears throat> Especially if you're into like long range shooting or anything like that, yeah. um, you can acquire a target really quick and hit the button, and it's I mean it was instant. I was surprised how fast it was. Cool. Uh, that that was that was pretty sweet. One thing I did forget to mention early on is that you know we like this podcast to be interactive, and so if you guys have any comments or questions, uh, if you leave them, in, there is a chat box on Facebook. If you're watching this live, if you're watching this later on you know YouTube or other platforms. Um, we do respond to comments, but we do like to uh, have live interaction. Like Butch Estes chatting in right now, saying thumbs up that the Bushnells are really nice binocular slash range finder. So uh, you guys chat in and ask us any questions you might have about tackle shop life or hunting, fishing, the products that we have, uh, whatever you have. We like this to be interactive. So. You know, next uh, on our next podcast, we're gonna have uh, Ryan Bowles with us. Uh, 
just a, a great guy in general, excellent outdoorsman, good, good great fisherman, uh, great hunter. He manages uh, a very, very, you know, giant club right. and good at game management. So if there's some questions that y'all would like to ask Ryan, by all means, y'all could start asking tonight. That way we'd mm -hmm. have some stuff together. Um, so he, he kind of knows what to talk about. He's probably not going to give you his brush piles, but... He'll, uh, he'll definitely help you out with when it comes to feed and game management and predator control, anything like that y'all want to talk about, it, down to fishing questions. Uh, he's he's great at all of it. So uh, he'll be here. He'll be our guest on the next one. So cool. That, that'd be really cool. We have a couple ideas uh, for special guests as well, um, just moving forward so that it doesn't become like the same routine podcast every week. So if there's... You know, people out in the community that you think we should interview, and even if it's not a podcast, maybe we go and we do a sit-down interview and, you know, film it, edit it, and break it down and, and get it out to you guys. Like, um, we, I mean, one thing that we want to do well is, is tell those stories, tell stories of people in the community and, you know, how they got to be where they are. And, you know, I, I can't sure. wait to hear Ryan's story because, oh, yeah. for me, like, you know, I did grow up in Alabama, but I wasn't, you know, a country boy. You know, sure. I'm, I'm interested to hear his story and how he got into doing those. Yeah, types he's a smart of things. guy. He's got a lot of knowledge. I ask him all the time, you know, uh, whether it be little simple farming questions. Uh, you know, why why is the price of corn so high this year? You know, I mean, and he he has the answers because he lives that life. You know, he plants right. his own stuff, so he's, he's a he's a wealth of knowledge. So great great guest. I'm excited to have him on, or we are excited yeah. to have him on. Um, we also want to mention too, like next time you guys see us, so, uh, maybe two, two weeks from tonight, right? Is that the, the idea? Mm -hmm. Um, we're going to have a different podcast studio set up too. We yeah. don't, we don't want to spoil anything. Uh, but this is the last table and chairs podcast. So right. we're, we're, we're investing in our, uh, podcast setup. We, and if you it's come by the cool. store, we'll tell you, but it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. Yeah. It's all Matt's idea too. So yeah, go as, on. as fishermen. You know, last week was probably the biggest week. We all wait. Everybody waits to see what, what comes out of the ICAST. That's, the, that's when all the new hot products has dropped. Um, saw, saw a lot of cool stuff. Um, kind of my, I'd love to, for y'all to chime in and tell me what you saw that was your favorite. If I had to pick one, um, I don't know if I could just pick one. I'm very excited for the Berkeley Slobber Knocker. Mm. Um, I'd like to see that. Also, uh, Strike King came out with a tungsten version of the, um, golly, I just drew a blank. Whatever their, their, <laughs> their bladed jig is, I just completely. Uh, uh, Thunder Cricket. Thunder Cricket. Yeah. They got a tungsten Thunder Cricket, which would be pretty cool. cool. Head's a lot smaller. Um, the biggest thing, and not necessarily the head, I'm, I'm sure that blade hitting on that hard tungsten will make a, a lot, a lot louder, more distinct clicking. Um. Plano Edge Frog Box. I yeah. thought that one was really cool. Uh, it's that's been overdue. You know? Oh yeah. Um, saw the Berkeley uh, Power Stinger, which is a bladed jig or a, a swim jig trailer. It's a minnow type trailer. They kind of you can look. They can they use some stuff off the ghillie on it. Um, it's kind of looks like it'd be pretty cool. cool. I'm very anxious to try it. Um, kind of switching towards saltwater slash. Freshwater Z-Man kicker crabs. Um, I didn't see that. I'm it, gonna, I'm gonna it, it, it looks pretty cool. It. What I see it is yes, it does look like a crab. It's got a paddle tail on it. Um, I bet you it would skip like a bullet on a buzz bait. So um, I kind of look outside the box on that kind of stuff. I think it'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Um, Spro came out with a line of spinner baits and buzz baits, and they actually they really look nice. Um, high quality blades you know mm -hmm. just kind of they look like they're almost double hammered you know so they'll throw off a lot of flash a um, little different wire bend look looks really cool i'm an anxious to see that stuff um that's kind of my my biggest takeaways from my cast so far what you what you see so uh i'm obviously in the influencer game so i follow a lot of uh the guys that make youtube videos and mm -hmm. alex rudd is on the berkeley team now and he talked a lot about the slobber knocker putting pictures out there it looks awesome and i can't wait to try it too it does and so we're talking about the slobber knocker we're talking about the thunder cricket upgrades is <clears throat> like when is the optimal time for bladed jig fishing 
probably year round. But yeah. my favorite is is uh, winter to spring. Yeah. You know? um, but you can catch them year round on it. Uh, definitely. I mean, you can change up the colors and throw it. At, you know. All right, around a shad spawn, you can throw it in the middle of summer, popping it a hydrilla. So it's probably, but if I had to pick, I, I like that, you know, that late winter, early spring kind of time time frame. It's good when fish are staging, but it's probably not a bad time. It's it's a great, it's a great bait because I mean, really, you can you can skip it just like a jig. You can fish it around cypress trees. Um, what I'm excited about on the slobber knocker is the way the head is. It it should actually come over cover better than all of them. Yeah. Where you know a lot of them hit the cover and roll into it, and you hook it and you hang up. You gotta go right. With it. Um, the the way if you look the way the slobber knocker head is, it should hit the cover and and roll over. Yeah. So I'm excited to to try that. That ought to be a really good one. Yeah, I'm really excited about the slobber knocker too. Obviously, mm-hmm. like I get, I kind of get on the hype train with everybody else. So Alex talking a lot about it. Um, I'm really excited about it. Um, and so obviously we're gonna try to get those as soon as possible. September first. September first. Berkeley rep left today. We went ahead and got our order in. So September first, September second, we should have them. We are going to. I can't remember exactly where I'm going. August fourteenth, fifteenth, and sixteenth. We're it- going. Indianapolis? Indianapolis. That's where we're going. Indianapolis. I, I'm also the secretary here. Yeah, apparently. That, that's good. That's, <laughs> that's where we're going. Um, but we're going to a tackle show in Indianapolis where it's basically like a kind of like an eye cast for our buy group. So we're very excited about that. That's where we get to order all of our products for, you know, winter, uh, early spring next year, into of, end of the summer. So all all of that stuff will be set up. It's basically a iCast version too, you know. Everybody, yeah. Everybody's there. Um, we get to we get to touch all the stuff, and it, it looks looks cool. Uh, one that I'm I'm excited to see. I have not got my hands on the new Fenwicks. Um, mm-hmm. Basically, Berkeley has hired you know the guy who he kind of puts rod rod companies on the map. He built the NRX. For G Loomis, the like the Zodiuses, stuff like that. He's designed all these high end rods and Berkeley hired him and now he is building re rebuilt, revamped Fenwick line, which has been a staple forever. Right. And their top of the line rod is gonna come in at like hundred and fifty bucks. That's cool. So That's I'm killer. very anxious to, to hold that rod. Yeah. So anything like past Fenwicks, we all know that's had them. They're great. You yeah. know, so I'm very excited to see that. Uh, that might be something you're going to see lots of new products coming in phantom but that might be one to, to definitely keep your eye out for uh we did we did start carrying um man i'm i'm drawing a blank they phoenix, phoenix phoenix feathers and now we're going to go into the other lines of phoenixes too so phoenix is phenomenal rod as always we got powell you know I love powell everybody <laughs> seems to buy them that's the meat and potatoes it's a yeah. good it's a good rod great value i'm excited about the phoenix to after we you know played around with the feathers recently i was like and and you know i've i've just recently started thinking i need to branch out on my rod selection and holding that rod i mean it's unbelievable how light that rod is so it is. i'm excited about that too um uh one person said i'm dying to try kj queen's bladed jig um that'll be interesting to try out too uh what because he is on the elite series right he is and, and he, he has owns, his own bake what, company queen queen tackle yeah i haven't seen it i haven't either now we have had their queen tackle their switch out blades we sell, we've sold them in a store okay. where basically you can add a, a bladed jig blade to any kind of jig which is, yeah. is cool they work good so uh, yeah i'd like i'd be interested to see that and then stephen butler said where do i find the rates for the phantom guided fishing trips um <laughs> for butler he sold me about I don't know seven cars. He's made a lot of money off me. Okay, it costs you a lot, buddy. It costs um, you a lot. I'm still trying to get uh, I'm still trying to get taken out on the Bass Cat. Richard McConnell says 13 rods. It, they feel great. Um, we actually just got the order form for them, so um, you know now that they're they're kind of a slash Normark brand. Yeah, I'd, I'd say it. you're going to see a lot of that kind of stuff coming in, not, not just your your Daiwas and Shimano's and all. So we're going to kind of branch out and have a little bit of everything. Um, we, I mean, we see that, you know, not yeah. everybody loves the same thing. Did we just right. had this talk with Todd the other week about, you know, we've all kind of 
you know, if I'm Powell, I'm Powell. Right. That's it. Well, I'm not that guy. I have Kistler. I have Powell. I have Phoenix. Um, I actually have, I think Abu Garcia, the Veritas rod, probably makes one of the finest crankbait rods that I've ever put my hands on. That's $100. Yeah. It is, it's one of the best I've used. Other than the old Bass Pro Shop cranking sticks, you know, yeah. they used to be great too. Um, so, if you're locked down to brand specific, you know, I'd love to know why. I, I got gotcha. you. Right. Just keep the same handle style and all, and I understand that. But sometimes you just can't find every rod you like, yeah. you know, in a brand. So um, we definitely kind of branch out a little bit. I feel like we say this every week, too. Like, when people suggest things for us, like, we try to get that in. Because sure. people Absolutely. people are wanting it. So, you know, if you're really sold out to 13 mm-hmm. and we're able to get it for you, you know, chances are other people like it too, so we want to get some in so that right. people can try them out. And I will say that you you got to come see the new real case. Just the way we're able to open up the front of the store, I think is is going to be more conducive for us to be able to display, you know, more brands of reels and rods. Sure. So, and we're really excited about. We've that. We've only been displaying a, a third of what we have, um, and now we're we're pretty much displaying all of it. Yeah. And not to mention, we have a a high end kind of a high-end bait counter now, you know, for our Ricos and uh, bull sheds, um, higher-end higher swim baits, the G-Rat stuff, um, Waterwood. Yeah, we got Waterwood. It. I'm telling y'all, if y'all, you better get on the Waterwood train. It's, it's going to happen. You'll find yeah. out there's a, there's a couple guys around here that's, that's buying them and really liking them, and I'd get on the Waterwood train because it's going gonna, it's gonna to roll this year. It's a, it's a good bait. Yeah. You'll definitely see why, what the price difference is. Um, you get what you pay for. I mean, 100%. 100%. And, and with so, that, it works. And so, uh, like, uh, about a month ago, we talked about the uh, buzz baits that are, like, 18 to $20. And uh, David Clements, a.k.a. the White Ninja Fishing on YouTube, uh, came in and bought a couple today. He said, I'm going to try them out. He wants that advantage. And so, same sure. thing's going to happen with Waterwood. Same uh, thing. And I mean, when you get a handmade crankbait, and the water wood is a handmade crankbait, when you get a special one, I mean, they're they don't all run the same. You right. Know, they're they're phenomenal. Now he he has water tested every one of these baits, um, hand tuned, um, hand signed. It, it, Marco is a pretty phenomenal guy when it cool. comes to building crankbaits. It it's definitely, I mean, it's a a craftsmanship goes in that thing. It's a pretty cool bait. Um, so Jonathan said, try the ALX Ecos Hustler for a, cra- a casting rod. He says he's been on ALX for a few years now. Um, somebody else recommended ALX to me recently when I was kind of uh, moving from one brand to trying out Temple Fork, and um, I ended up going TFO. But uh, And then he asked, what buzz bait was that you guys were mentioning? It was... Um, the Depths. I think it was a depths. I think so. War cry or something. Nah, it was, I think it was a depth. No, it was evergreen. I'm yes, sorry. it's the evergreen. Evergreen, yeah. evergreen. Evergreen buzz bait. Um, going back to that, and everybody will disagree with me. The Icos Hammer Seven, twenty pound mono, six four to one to seven one to one gear. Best buzz bait setup there is. I love it. Yeah, that's what I. That's what I love buzz bait. But I have one, and that's what I. Ne- never gets cut off. So there you go. I think I- Icos is a great rod. It's so, a great, a very affordable rod too. Yeah. So when we say we use everything, like we sure. literally use everything. Here. Oh yeah. None of oh, us yeah. are. None of I us. I mean, are we're sold tackle out. junkies. Yeah, you absolutely. Know? <clears throat> Something new comes out, we try it. Man. You know, most of the things that come in the store, I mean, when it's new, if you ever wonder how we tell you about it, first thing we do is open the first pack and go throw it in the pond. Um, so we're we kind of see how it runs. If it's not just a I, ho- I heard this was good. We find out if it's good. Right. You know? One thing we're going to start doing, too, that you don't know about yet, Great. is we're going <laughs> we're gonna to start getting these things in, and we're going to go water test them, like, on the on the river. We'll be like, hey, uh, Todd, we're going to be on the river, but we're product testing so that yeah. we can talk to customers about it better. Well, Todd, we could sell that to him. Erica, oh, yeah. not so much. <clears throat> By the way, oh, yeah. Um, Todd, could you ask Erica if we yeah, could go fishing? Yeah, like it. <laughs> Oh, man. Speaking anyway. of Erica, it's her birthday tomorrow. It so. is. It is. So make sure y'all stop by the Phantom shop. Phantom Boss Lady, her birthday tomorrow. Stop by yeah. and tell Erica he- happy birthday. Yeah, absolutely. The big 29. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> um, 
A couple other things I, I want to mention about uh, going around the store is um, we, we're restocking a lot of our hats, and somebody called the store uh, like a week ago and asked if we were going to restock our Santee patch hats, which is this black hat with the bass boat on the patch, and, and we said no because they were a special edition. Unbeknownst to me, uh, my predecessor, my boy Chad, had actually ordered more before I even got here. Never mentioned so the day after we told that gentleman that we weren't going to restock those hats, a shipment of a, about 40 came in. So if, if you're out there listening to the podcast, by chance, we, we didn't write down your name. That's a, 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 we, we should have done that. Um, we do have about 40 of these hats left, and once they're gone, they, they will be gone. Um, and then we also restocked their super popular old school like Cryptek hats um, with cool peas on there and there is a uh there there are only two of the black with the red pea and there might only be one that they, they might have sold out already but i know that we only had two of those for whatever reason that hat is impossible to get um so i wanted you guys to be aware that we are restocking on some of these limited run hats uh, but they, they do go really fast and you can get all those here in store but you guys know you can get them at phantomoutdoors.com put that order in i'll go ahead and pull it off the shelf for you um, and Butch says, I'd be happy to be a product tester. Very good. All right, Butch. Butch has a boat. Hmm? There you go. Maybe me and Butch go out one day. Maybe. What else you got? That's all I got. What you got? The um, Zoom, putting out a lot of a lot of products again. Uh, getting Skeppernog. Skeppernog and like uh, Baby Brush Hogs. Green Pumpkin Green and Baby Brush Hogs. So if if you've been waiting for a Zoom product, we'll probably have it or either have it on the way now. Um, if any, anybody knows, I'm not going to go into detail on this, the Zoom crawl worm. If you're looking for the crawl worm, we got them. We got green pumpkin and chartreuse pumpkin. Um, you don't need nothing else than that. Yeah. That's a, if you don't have them February, March, and April in our lake, it's going to be tough. I'm cool with it. Yeah. So, that's good. Um, Lots, a lot of sales going on. We're moving some, 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 some stuff that we are overstocked on. Some stuff that didn't move like we thought it should move. We're making room for all the new stuff. So we have sale bins everywhere. Um, one of the big ones, uh, War Eagle Jiu Jitsu. Um, great. It's a good jig. I, I really like it. Arky style head, five eights. All of them are five eights. Owners of wire hook. Not gonna flex. Great. They're usually about seven dollars a piece. We got them on clearance right now for four dollars. So I just actually put these online. They were not okay. online, so they're online now too. Good. Um, Y'all can get them four dollars a piece. That's a that's a steal. Um, I don't know why. I I've been throwing the jig. I liked it. I'm not a jig it. guy, but it just hadn't it hadn't sold like a, we thought it would sell. So. Yeah. Pretty cool bait. Um, you know we gotta we gotta make room for our. All our catchers and all that stuff it's won't right. be long. Crankbait season coming, and I can't wait. Know, lot, this falls. It's just I a great wait. time of the year. It, uh, you know, the bucks are rutting, the bass are feeding up for the winter. It's just a, it's a great time to live in South Carolina Absolutely. in October. I, I cannot wait. Uh, from October to about April is my time to live. The rest of it, I'd rather just stay inside. Yeah, maybe I can actually get you out in October. Yeah. Oh yeah, when that cools down, I love it. Um, so Dean wants to know fiddlers anytime soon. Uh, we try. We had them last week for a very brief time. It's very hit or miss. I'll ask out if anybody knows where we can get some. Knows the contact. We'll we'll definitely get them. But the the people we've been getting them from just been very inconsistent, unfortunately. So we're we are trying every week to to get them and keep them. Um, hadn't. It's crazy. Ain't got anybody consistently bringing them yet? Uh, Chris said, "Matt, don't tell everyone that secret." I, th I assume he's talking about the. Uh... I told him, Chris. I no, I don't think I told him that, but he knows it. He knows it. You'll see. You'll, you'll see. They'll all sell online tonight. The last time, all all of them sold out, and like Chad sold them to somebody, and they didn't last long. Um. So we need a moderator. Actually, that's what we need. What is that? Um. I think it's spam. I can't tell. Please, how much is Techno Phantom X when converted to into U.S. dollars? I think I don't. I don't know that that's an actual comment. It might be a bot. But we need a moderator. Anyway, we'll we'll handle that later. Um, 
fun fact of the day, I, and I thought about this while you were talking about Zoom, is I found out this week that Zoom's colors are red and yellow because the founder wanted it to pop the way McDonald's logo popped. And so there you go. That's why Zoom is red and yellow. It, it works. <laughs> it he works. He was a it, smart guy. Absolutely. He was a smart guy. I think, I mean, we don't we don't really have a whole lot other stuff going on for the podcast tonight. I mean, we'd love to answer any of the questions that you guys might have about what we have going on or fishing or hunting or... Yeah, we're just prepping, getting ready. We're excited. getting ready for deer season. Just uh, we already started kind of planning for the fair and getting our getting our booth set up for the fair and built and put together. We're gonna we're gonna definitely go a little step up this year and yep. we'll rock it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and say this too. Um, we're we're gonna have a special edition fair T-shirt that like is gonna drop at the. Is fair. it gonna have like a Ferris wheel or something on it? I hadn't, I hadn't really thought, like, probably not. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how, I don't know that the Ferris wheel fits into the Phantom brand, but, um, no, I, I've got this idea for a limited edition. Regardless of if my idea, I've actually already got the design done up. Josh did it for me, but, um, we're going to do, like, some limited edition fair merch, so make sure you guys plan to come and see us at the fair, uh, and if I'm working at the fair and you bring me, uh, um, I call them... Y'all call them elephant ears. I call them funnel cakes. Well, it's a funnel. There's two different things. An elephant <laughs> ear and a funnel cake ain't the same thing. If you bring me a funnel cake, I'll hook you up. Yeah. I was going to say, you should design one with a funnel cake on it. Hmm. I'm not sure what the... I'm not sure what that product is. You might have to send us a DM and let me let me do some research, but it looks like Jonathan answered the question. What so, was it? She said Techno Phantom X, but... I, I, once again, I think it's, I think it's Phantom X. All right. We're back live. Okay, we're back live. <laughs> Find that out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Boom. There we go. All right. Steven uh, apparently ordered some line from us, and we were supposed to leave it outside, and we totally forgot. Uh, my bad. No, I, I had to mute the microphone for a second to, uh, to get something out of here. And, um, yeah. Uh, you never come see me, bro. When are we going to go fishing? Everybody, I don't know. I don't know why I ever had you time. Um, he got it. Huh? He got it. He got it? Good. Let's go. Let's go. I take care of Steven. Once I found out that it was forgotten, I went ahead and gave him line off my rod and rail. That's, really? <laughs> no, you didn't do that. I would have. I know you would. I know you would. You saw us when you were in South Carolina last week. Where, where are you from? Cool. Where are you from, or where are you right now? We all watching from. We got people all over the southeast. We got probably got people all over the country watching. Yeah. Um. I, other stuff. I can't. I can't really talk about. There, we got like a lot of cool stuff in the works that we. We'll talk about it. I'm ready to see. I'm ready to know. Well, don't don't like talk about nothing crazy. <laughs> we got um. Cape Cod. I remember you. Cape Cod. Yeah. Let's go. Um. We got a, we we kind of mentioned it about doing some some different stuff with our with our shirts coming up soon. Um, we got some designs together for that that I'm really excited about as far as performance shirts go. Um, we got a couple things in in the pipeline. We actually so our summer series shirts are doing really well, the yellow and the green, and we have an, another color that's coming later this week for. Um, uh, Erica wanted it for the ladies, but I'm gonna get one anyway because I think they're sick. But we're actually gonna do like a purple. Um, that's gonna look cool. Um, we got some cool hat designs coming back. We got some. We're about to restock some uh, older patch designs, uh, but some new colors. Um, and then we have a, a really cool. I, I can't. I, I hadn't even told you about it. So we have a cool hat coming too. So I know everything. You don't know. I know. You don't know. Uh, tall guy who shot the oryx, the antelope. Oh, the I gotcha! Elk. I gotcha! So you do remember? People, yeah, I do. Yeah. People ask 
almost daily. Like somebody asked today what the animals were. I said, funny story, he was in here last week telling us about it. Eric Jeffers is from California. How's the fishing in California right now? What do you like to fish for in California? I follow... Um, Largemouth bass for big glide baits. With big old swim baits. Uh, I follow uh, Greg Blanchard, who's a kayak guy out in California. He fishes the Delta and tournaments around there all the time. He's fun to watch. Have you ever been to California? Mm -mm. Well, I think maybe once, but not fishing. We should go. <laughs> um yeah well uh we're at 6 30 it was kind of a short show tonight we're just kind of rounding third here uh we wanted it to be short um we're actually um going to dinner we're going to celebrate uh erica's birthday tonight kayak fish the delta yeah greg blanchard is out there a whole lot um uh, making videos and stuff um makes me miss kayak fishing a little bit um you ever kayak fish it's not bad. I, th I think I would really enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. But just not on Santa Cooper with gators. Mm -mm. I don't know. I think it's like a ramp. They can come right on in there. Uh, I'm not like gator scared, but I don't know. Sitting on the water level. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of. There I, were times. I got nervous a few times yeah. on the wide boo. Cause there's a, yeah. There's a couple of big ones out there. Yeah. But like if we went kayak fishing on Lake Murray or somewhere like that, Lake Jocassi, yeah, mm -hmm. I think it'd be cool. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. Wouldn't mind it. It's definitely like a more intimate experience because you are so close to the water. Um, but it's also my biggest frustration was like always having to like reach behind me and get stuff. I don't have great balance. I'd probably fall out, flip <laughs> over or something. It'd probably be great. A 42 pound WSB off my kayak. How insane was was that whole experience of being just absolutely pulled around at the mercy of a fish? All right, I'm going to ask what's a WSB. I don't know. I was hoping he was going to I was going to use context clues. We we got to know what the WSB is. 15 foot great white go 2 feet from my leg. No, see I don't I, See that's where I'm, you got I, you lost me there with yeah. sharks. I'm out. It's li it's literally shark week right now and my wife's like, "Hey, let's let's go watch shark week for a little while." I'm, like, I'm going to bed. Like sharks freak me out. Has everybody seen the video of the guy getting the dad getting his pinky bit off this week? Yes. I mean, it is And that was a little, little shark. No, yeah. I mean, I think he, that was poor fish handling, but, right. you know, but either way, it was gone. WSB is a white sea bass. White sea bass, all right. Um, so that they actually did an update also. Um, apparently, he said it was the last shark of the day, uh, and that's that's when stuff always goes down. It, you know, ripped his finger off, and I think his brother-in-law on the boat was a surgeon or something like that so they were going to see if they could save it but i haven't got the update part three that's the great thing about tiktok is everybody does like a here's a part two video you know hmm. we'll check on it we'll we'll check back in next week there's a second video to that yeah that's what i was saying I, I watched the first part of the second video but i'm so adhd on on tiktok i just i just scroll to the next you guys got anything else for us any cool questions anything cool happening I'm excited about the fair, honestly. I, I don't know what to expect. Well, me too. Cause I'm it, the fair brings cool weather, mm -hmm. October, good snacks, a lot good of good snacks. people. We get to meet a lot of we get to meet a lot of people that we normally don't meet here. You know right. what I mean? That so it's it's good. We get to meet a lot of a lot of new customers, and it's it's cool. It's yeah. Fun time. Fun yeah. time. Hmm. Well. Nah, we're ready for. We're, good. we're getting ready for deer season. Y'all come in and see us. We uh, we stocked up. Gun rooms full. Uh, ammo's full. Fishing's full. Yep, I was about to say that's one. That's one more thing that like we do that people need to know is our gun team. Our our team in the firearm room is the very best. Uh, from Buddy to Trevor, like. They just, not only do they know their stuff, uh, but they can help you out too, from putting a scope on, to sighting it in, uh, to fully building out the firearm how you want it built out. Those guys are incredible. Yep. I always learn something new every time I go in there. So if you're if you're even thinking like, hey, I, maybe I want to build this AR, or I'm thinking about this scope, or this laser, or this flashlight, like come in and talk to the guys, and, and they're going to steer you in the right direction. Yeah, um, that's for sure. And one of the coolest, I, I want to share the story. One thing I want to do every 
podcast is is Tackle Shop Life, where we kind of talk about some of the cool things going around. Um, you know, we close we close at five o'clock on Saturdays, and Buddy and I were here until five forty five this past Saturday. And the reason is uh, this lady wanted the perfect gun or the, the perfect concealed carry firearm, and Buddy literally helped let her hold every firearm in back there that would fit her needs because we didn't have the one that she came in to see. He took the time to match her to to the perfect firearm for her to carry every day, and she left with Happy. a great match. Right. Happy. And so, um, you know, we'll sell you what you want, but we want to make sure you get what you want sure. and also what you need, whether it's a firearm, fishing, tackle, life jacket, uh, whatever it is, we really are here to help you guys out. Hobo if, worms. If you haven't, if you haven't been in here, please stop in. Give us a chance to earn your business. Yeah. We'd, lo- we'd love to have you. What's Kurt Gaskin saying? Our favorite thing is when you come in and say, "Are you the guys from the podcast?" Yeah. Uh, Buckrut, Buckrut Deering Fair. You're uh, you're about right. You that's right. the first little cold snap. So. And then Jonathan said, "Hobo worms. That's what you need." Yes. Yeah. Send us some. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll start stocking them. We got yeah. enough people around here that want them. Yeah. So, uh, definitely. And one thing too, we've been we've been talking for a while. You know, we are we're gonna up our game on saltwater. Yeah, uh, definitely inshore. Not, you know, we're not getting into offshore trolling just yet. But we are definitely up in our game on saltwater. If it's for an inshore, we're we're gonna try to get it. I know everybody's asking for the bottom sweeper jigs, and we we're, we're gonna try to go at that again and see if we can get our hands on some. Um, rod and reels. We just we just made a toadfish order again. Cool. Um, they're actually really cool rods. They really, really are. They're really nice built rods, uh, comfortable in your hand, balanced well. <laughs> so we got an order of toadfish spinning rods coming in again. Um, but the the baits wise, uh, the gulp, you know, the voodoo shrimp, um, any anything you can think of. If y'all want this, if you if you don't get us on here, shoot us a message. Um, Shoot me a message. Shoot Phantom a message. However you want, and we'll we'll stock it. I mean, if it's if it's obtainable, we'll we'll get it. So, um, we definitely want to, you know, y'all make this your home store. Come and come and see us. And if it's something that you're wondering, do we have? You don't live around here? Call. We'll mail it to you. That's right. Not a problem. Yeah. Um. So Jonathan said he'll try to bring some down when he comes in November. Cool. Uh, my boy Cash. Hunter came through. Hopefully, I'll get down there soon now that I'm back in the state. Absolutely, dude. I can't wait to see you. Can't wait to take you fishing. Come down and see the store. I'll, I'll dip out early, and we'll go fishing. I got to get my boat fixed. I told you to fix it. I know. We just ain't got time. Um, my boy Cash is actually uh, a manager at uh, Cabela's slash Bass Pro. He's a cool guy. You'll like him. Cool. But, yeah, we're, we're trying to get as much as we can. Saltwater, dude. I want to catch a red, dude. Can you put me on a red? Yeah, they're they're pretty easy to catch. That's fun. Okay. That's fun. You can just bass fish. Just go go to Yellow House Creek and bass fish. Same kind of thing? Throw, throw a square bow crankbait and chatterbait, stuff like that. They, Heck yeah. They eat the same way. They're Turned they're out. fun to catch. They do fight a lot harder than a bass. I will mm. tell you that. But I want to catch one. They're, they're definitely fun to catch. You, I mean, you can catch them in Cooper over right here. Uh, you want to see what Cali fishing is like? Check out my buddies and I on YouTube under Jurassic Sport Fishing. That's I've actually good. watched Jurassic Sport Fishing before. Hmm. So that's All pretty right. cool. I have to watch some. Cool. Uh, right. I think I probably should have lived in California as much as I like swim baits and big glide baits and all that. Yeah. And I think I should probably go there. Um, Cash said reds are fun, uh, treating like bass. Um, I also, I like, I'm a sucker for trends, so you know you watch Zaldane slinging them big swim baits. Like, I, I want to do that. Um, I need y'all to take me fishing and let me catch something on a mag draft. Like, I bought them. I haven't had a chance to really throw them yet, but I want to. Well, you, mag draft is not a big swim bait. I mean, you can Eight catch, inches? Not that big. I mean, I'm, we're talking big swim baits. Okay. Y'all talking about stuff I haven't even yeah. dove into yet. I'm still a rookie here. Mag, mag draft, you can catch, they'll eat them here, no problem. I'm trying um that's all i got you got anything no that's it we, we thank y'all for for joining us and look forward to seeing y'all in the store uh come check out what we got going on it's like a lot happening right now so 
about time to go eat some uh, Mexican um, and call it a night. Yeah, we're going to call it a night, guys. It was a short episode. We will be back in two weeks with Ryan uh, to talk about uh, game management. Make sure you guys save up your questions for him, too. And uh, we'll try to make sure we show out. We'll be in a different location, uh, which we're also excited about. So two weeks from tonight, Phantom Live, uh, special guest. We can't wait. Don't forget, too, to keep up with us on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on TikTok as well. If we get to a thousand TikTok followers, which we're, I think we're like two something right now, 200 something, uh, Matt's going to do some kind of dancing video. So go follow us on TikTok for that. Um, And yeah, just hit us up, come see us. If you can't, check us out at phantomoutdoors.com. And we will see you guys in a couple weeks on the next one. Thank y'all. Thank you. I clicked the wrong button. Good night.